All right, so the math dealer here, and we're going to find some limits using a technique that deals with the least common denominator, right? The least common denominator basically is when you look at all your denominators and you say, okay, which denominator am I going to use that they all go into? Does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not. First step when you're doing a limit, though, is take the negative 7, take your number, plug it in, see what you get. Sometimes you get a number. If you get a number, go with it, right? If you get a number over 0, hmm, that might be a vertical asymptote. That's for another that's for another video. But if you get zero over zero, that's an indeterminate form and you need to do something, right? So when I take negative seven and plug it in, I get zero in the numerator, I get zero in the denominator. What the heck? Yep, indeterminate form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply through by the least common denominator. And the way you find the least common denominator is check out all your little denominators, right? A 7, an X, and a 1, the LCD in this case would be 7X. So all I've done is I've multiplied by 1. That's really all I'm doing here. I think sometimes we forget that that's the power of 1, right? So check this out. I'm going to take this 7X, this is always fun, and distribute it, right? When I take the 7X and distribute it over top of the 7, lo and behold, I'm going to actually get an X. Good job. Oops. Sorry about that. So I have the limit as x goes to negative 7. And I'm going to get what I just say, an x. Then I take the same thing. Take the 7x, distribute it over the x, and I get a plus 7. Very exciting. Denominator, when I distribute this, I am going to leave it in factored form. Like I'm not going to multiply this out. And I think that's something that people always mess up with is they want to distribute because we're robots and that's what we do. We don't want to be those robots, okay? Now, check it out. The x plus 7s cancel. So now when I plug the negative 7 in, I'm going to get 1 over negative 49. And yes, that is going to be the limit. Okay, so this is a technique using the least common denominator to find a limit. Same idea down here. I'm going to multiply through by my denominator. My denominator in this case, LCD is x plus 1 and a 3. x plus 1 and a 3. All I've done is multiplied by 1. Oh, by the way, don't forget, plug the 2 in first. When you plug the 2 in, you're going to get 0 over 0. I guess I better check that first, right? 0 over 0, okay? But I know that's what these examples are about, so oops, I guess I should have checked it. Okay, so now I have the limit as x goes to 2. When I distribute x plus 1 times 3 over each of these terms, okay? In the first case, check it out. The x plus 1's cancel, and you're left with the x plus 3 times 1, okay? I'll say that again because I know how you like me to repeat myself, right? The x plus 1's cancel, and it's the 3 that gets multiplied in, okay? So take note of that. So in that case, you end up getting a 3 in the first term. The next one, the 3's cancel, right? And it's the x plus 1 that gets multiplied. So I'm multiplying the negative 1 times x plus 1. In the denominator, do me a favor. Do not multiply that out, okay? Because the cool thing is, is we really are setting up factors to cancel, all right? Yeah, that's scale from 1 to cool. Very. All right, distributing here. I'm taking the limit as x goes to 2. When I distribute, of course, I get 3 minus x minus 1. So in that numerator, I get 2 minus x. And the denominator have x minus 2, x plus 1, and a 3. Now, check it out. 2 minus x and x minus 2 are opposites of each other. Since they're opposites of each other, I can cancel it to get a negative 1, right? We talked about that in class, right? 2 minus x and x minus 2, they are opposites. And when you divide them out, you get negative 1, okay? So that's what I have in the numerator. Now, take your 2, plug it into your x, a little shimmy shimmy work work, and lo and behold, you're going to get your answer, right? When I take the 2 and plug it in here, I get 3. 3 times 3, I know you know, is called 9. And my answer, grand finale, alert the media, is negative 1 ninth. All righty. So that's using the technique of LCDs to find the least common denominator. All right. I hope this video was helpful. All right. And who knows what's next? So exciting. So exciting.
This is the math dealer. And